Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and I finally have the last Ghostbuster, Peter Binkman. The final release, this guy. Comes in your standard white mailer, just like the uh, Master of the Universe Classics from Matty Collector. Very cool. It's an adult collector there. Pretty simple and basic. And the figure comes out looking just like this. Very awesome. Really happy to get this guy. Finally, the uh, fourth Ghostbuster. Very cool. This is Adult Collector there. Same basic packaging as the rest. <clears throat> the back, it's got the uh, little personnel file. Peter Venkman. Do it slow. If you guys want to read it, you can. Should be able to read it pretty well if you pause it. Very cool. There's the other three that were released. Very awesome. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright, we're back with Peter Venkman, which is of course played by Bill Murray in the films. And uh, also comes with a Slimer Ghost, which is cool, but we already had a Slimer. This is a different Slimer, which is cool because I mean everybody loves Slimer, but I really would have liked to see just a new ghost instead of just a, a remake of a ghost that we already have. But uh, it comes with one of the cool little flight stands for the ghost, which is cool. And of course it just kind of pegs in the little hole down there on the bottom. And I like the translucent green of it, which is cool. Yep, pretty good paint detail on the teeth and the tongue and everything, which is pretty good. And then he does have ball jointed arms or shoulders and a single joint in the elbow and a sw uh, swivel in the wrist. So that's pretty cool that it actually has the articulation uh, built in as the original Slimer did too. And I brought in the other one, the first one that was released in the series, just to do a comparison. Um, you can see there's a little bit of difference just in the color. And this was the one that was released with... Uh, Oh jeez, brain fart, I can't remember the dude's name, but uh, the uh, 2009 San Diego Comic Con. But uh, as you can see, this is the new one with his tongue out, and the other one that was released before. And there's a little bit difference in the uh, translucency. This one's like got more of, I don't know even how to describe it, but it's just a little bit lighter, but not much. Uh, the hands are just about the same, but they're actually a new mold. They're a little bit different if you can see that. So they actually did put a new mold in there. Uh, the body is pretty close. It's actually a different mold as well, though, around the face. But I think the bottom, I think they took the original mold and just kind of retooled it. But uh, very cool. like to have both of them. They're great. I love Slimer. I mean, who doesn't? But a uh, little disappointing that we didn't get a, uh, a different ghost. But, you know, hopefully there'll be more of these guys and we'll get plenty more awesome ghosts. Because who doesn't want a bunch of ghosts running around? But uh, I also brought in... <clears throat> I also brought in Egon Spangler, which is the name I couldn't remember a minute ago. He was the 2009 uh, SDCC exclusive that came with the first Slimer but uh, I'll take a minute a look at him here in a minute but uh, I brought him in just for a comparison first off the head which is supposed to be Bill Murray which looks pretty good it looks a lot better than the uh, prototype pictures or whatever pictures they were releasing uh, not too bad I was a little worried that it might look pretty bad but looks pretty good Nice Ghostbusters logo there. And I know you can't read it very well, but it does say Vankman right there. It's a black name tag with like kind of a red writing. It's kind of hard to see in person as well. I wish they would have done a lighter red on the paint so you could see it better. But uh, it doesn't show up well on camera, but if you see just the little glossiness all over the figure, that is the slime. Like you got Slime by Slimer, uh, the same as the Egon Spangler. 
but it is a different slime. It looks a little different. The Egon's one was like a dark green. Well, this one's like a really light, oozy, shiny green. Very cool. But this is a new body mold, it looks like. They may have used some of the same pieces. I'll do a comparison here in a minute. But uh, there's some different things on here that weren't on the other three Ghostbusters. But uh, you got the very cool proton pack there. All the really awesome detail they put into this thing with the wires and everything. Looks really good. With the gun, looks pretty awesome. And this one is the uh, harder rubber. It's still movable and rubber and stuff, but it's not as rubbery as the originals were. They got really bent. But, uh, this thing does clip on right here, like so. So, very cool. It's got some different stuff down here. And he's actually wearing his gloves, which is one thing that's different. The other three just had their gloves hanging over their belt, which he does not. He's actually wearing them on his hands. He's got some different uh, technical stuff. He's got a little tube hooked up into his belt and the proton pack. And one of the main differences that everybody notices is his pants are not tucked into his boots. Which is pretty cool. Very awesome. Oh wow, that's awesome. I like that. I'll go into articulation in a minute, but he does have the uh, foot swivel side to side foot pivot which I really like. It's so very cool um, articulation he has a if you can see it's not just at the head but his whole neck goes down in there but you got, got a pretty free range of movement like a ball joint so pretty decent. And he has a ball jointed shoulder no split at the upper bicep which is unfortunate but uh, the ball joints are really tight but uh a ball jointed elbow and a ball jointed wrist and of course he has pre-molded hands which is okay on this figure doesn't bother me and then a swivel at the waist no chest articulation it kinda has the uh, DCUC articulation at the legs which works pretty good goes back and forward in and out and then a swivel at the upper thigh a single joint in the knee and then a slight up and down pivot and of course the side to side pivot which is very necessary on a lot of figures maybe not so much necessary on the DC and these Mattel figures the uh, Matty Collector figures because they do a good job on, on standing but I have to say on the Marvel Legends man those things are pitiful at standing sometimes so you really need that pivot but uh, I think he would have done okay without it but it's still a really nice touch you can do some cool poses with that pivot. But uh, now for the uh, comparison. Looks like it's pretty much the same body mold. If you look at the costume, looks pretty close. It's got like a little bleed I just noticed on the name tag. It's like leaking down <laughs> on the black. But uh, he's got the same like arm pads. You can see, of course, he has the same hand mold just with the gloves. And here he says gloves hanging around his belt. So it's pretty cool. Looks like the pants are the same. And then of course the all the other three Ghostbusters have their pants tucked in and he's all more casual, so he's got them hanging out. Which is pretty cool. So the Proton Pack's a little bit different. You notice there's a few minor changes there. Pretty similar though. But uh, that's nice, we got a few different changes on this guy. Change it up a little bit. But I really, I know they've got a couple other Ghostbusters planned. Like, I think there's like an Egon in a lab coat. And, you know, I think maybe that might be the only one, other one I've heard of. But I really want a Lewis Tully. Uh, I'd like him in the Ghostbusters costume. I'd like a Terror Dog. Um... Yeah, I'd like all the original characters and uh, different versions of them. I'll buy them all. So, uh, Matty Collector, keep making them. <laughs> these figures are awesome. If you guys haven't seen these, check them out. But uh, that was the Peter Venkman. Thanks for checking them out.